Hi, my name is Andrea. Welcome to FabLab Fundamentals. Today, I'm going to show you how to use the built-in generator in a Keysight digital oscilloscope. So let's get started. First, you can turn on the oscilloscope by pressing this white button. Right now, it's already on, so I'm going to go ahead and connect my coaxial cables. There's two different input channels um, for this oscilloscope. Um, in this video, I'm only going to use channel one, so I'm going to put my coaxial cable into the um, channel one, and then I'm going to connect the other end of the coaxial cable to this um, gen out. This is where the output signal of the internal uh, generator from the, for this oscilloscope is coming out. So then if I want to change the settings of the generator, I can click this wave gen button on the right hand side. And then you see it brings all the parameters. I'm going to turn on channel one just so there's a visual um, on what the wave the up the wave is looking like on the generator. So now I'm gonna click wave gen again to see the settings. And then if you click this first button, you can see there's different waves. Um, so you can either press this button to iterate over each one. You see there's RAM, pulse, DC, and noise. Um, or I can use this entry knob to go around. So for this video, I'm only going to use sign. So I click on the entry knob, you just by pressing. And then you can change the period or frequency here on the second button. So you can use the same knob to either go clockwise to increase the frequency or counterclockwise to decrease the frequency. You can also change the amplitude by pressing the third button. Um, and then you can do the same to clockwise to increase, counterclockwise to decrease. And this is, I'm gonna set it to 100 millivolts amplitude. So now you can also change the offset or go to different settings. There's also a setting for modulation, which you can use, but that will be explained in a separate video. Another feature that the wave generator has is that it can create body plots for gain and phase. Um, which will be explained in a separate video. Um, so yeah, now that that is done, you can check the from channel one. The signal says it's 1.5 hertz, which matches what I have here. Um, I have 200 millivolts peak to peak, which matches the 100 millivolt amplitude. And yeah, and that is how you generate the uh, signal using the internal generator of the oscilloscope. So you can just turn it off by clicking this wave gen button on the right side then also turn off the channel one and then you can turn take out the coaxial cables and please put it back to where it was before to maintain a clean space then you can turn off the oscilloscope by pressing this white button on the left side and yeah that that is how you use the internal generator of a keysight digital oscilloscope thank you